Kobe, there's legendary stories about Kobe, just in the way that he's wired. And if we're being honest, there's just not a lot of people in the world in any profession that were wired the way that Kobe was wired. And I'm sure at times, like any star player, there's going to be friction with teammates. What do you think Kobe expected or wanted or needed from his teammates? Like, what was he looking for? He obviously was smart enough to acknowledge that nobody was him. What did he expect, though? Well, he expected your best. He expected to to give your best, to take it as seriously as he took it, or at least close to that. Uh, he expected you to bring it, um, to have that winning mindset. Um, and um, because he understood that without you and everybody else being in that mode, you know, we were going to fall short. So he had to have everyone kind of buy in into his mindset of, of, of winning out of, of um, obsession for winning and competing and challenging everyone. And that's what it took to be a champion. You know, you had to, you had to practice it. You had to live it. You had to feel it uh, on a daily basis. You have to work hard every single day. You had to be committed. You had to prepare. You have to watch tape. You had to take care of your body. Everything you had to, you know, every practice has to, had to be a challenge. So he would challenge, you know, all, every guy on the team physically and verbally. Um, so to see what you were made of, to see if he could count on you, to see if he could earn your respect uh, on those on those times, on those critical times on, on, on the court. Uh, if, uh, if he could feel like if you were open, if you were going to hit you, you could knock down that shot or, or you know, or you could make that play uh, on both ends on the floor. So he needed that. Um, and he was, um, you know, he was great at, at uh, you know, at setting the tone, you know. Uh, and, um, you know, he got me to play at another level. So, you know, it was um, – it was great, and when I kind of at some point, if I would falter or, or, or he could sense that I was not at that sharp, um, all-in type of moment and level, he would always acknowledge, you know, pregame. He would look at me. He was like, "Hey, you ready?" You know, kind of thing. I know you give me the look. Mm -mm, let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's go time, right? So he would just make sure he we, we would kind of engage eyes uh, that I was in that mode as he was understanding that it, that was a critical a critical game or a critical moment. To that point, um, did you ever see him have an off day? Not in the sense of makes and misses, but did he ever need that or was he just on all the time? I think he was on all the time. I think it was hard for him to, to, to turn, I mean, to turn it off. Uh, he was just on throughout the season as you said, he might have some more off nights than others or nights that he felt he was so dominant and especially against maybe not the not so good teams where he felt like that extra pass or that right play might not be necessary all the time. Uh, that he would, you know, take a, take a little more load offensively. But for the most part, he, I mean, he was always, he was always on. Like I remember a moment where, we just got done playing the Olympics. I think it was in uh, uh, in 08, right in Beijing, and we come back. And I try to always I try to take some time off just to get my my mind and and, and body a rest and a breather. And training camp was in I think three weeks after that or something. Uh, and and he's like and Phil kind of gave us a practice off. Uh, and we would watch on the side and he. He challenged me to a one-on-one -on, -one on the post. Oh, let's play a one-on-one -on, -one on the post just to see where I was at because he had been working after the Olympics and he kept himself like ready to, to go. And I was like, hey, hey, hey slow down, man. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> we're supposed to take the practice off. I haven't been doing much since the Olympics. I've been taking off so I can ramp up, you know, and utilize training camp to get myself back where I need to be. But otherwise, I'm just going to get burned out. I just, you know, I just... It's just for it is that's how it is for me, and it might not be how it is for you, you know. And it wasn't for him because he was always like on, and he he kicked my ass because he was like he was he was ready. He had he hadn't really taken any time off, uh, and I was I was like, no, nah, I need to take it easy. This is not, I'm not going to try to force anything here. Uh, but he wanted to 
you said, oh, no, there's no time. We, you can't, we can't take off. We got to keep the foot on the pedal, a foot on the gas. It's not, it's just not, this is how you, this is how it, this is how it needs to be. And you need to be on that mode. So, uh, so that's a good example of him always being like on. We, it was, that's how we, that's who he was.